started thinking about the concept in March of 2017. Rather than making a profit, we're trying to build a sense of community and a place where people gather and a place where people find good food and learn more about where their food comes from. So we opened in December of 2017 and have just been growing since then. So it was kind of a, a, a no-brainer, wouldn't it be a cool idea to have all these great products and one store where you could find them all so you don't have to wait for a uh, uh, farmer's market during just the season or a special event where some of these folks were, were selling as well. So that was kind of, um, um, kind of a solidifier as well. That's his name. So he was a gift to me from Marty years ago when we first started dating. He would come here and he's kind of been the unofficial mascot ever since. And um, you'll see him on our social media posts a lot. Uh, I, I use him to introduce products and stuff. And as you can see, he's in our logo uh, and he's by the front door. <laughs> things that you buy at a big box store have been grown because they keep a long time on the shelf and they travel well, which means you're sacrificing flavor often, right? So these are these are picked fresh, sold in the market a couple hours afterwards. If you wanted to know how they were grown, we could tell you all the details from the eggs to the meat to the produce to the coffee and all of it. So we are reconnecting people with seasonal uh, fruits and vegetables, so that's always great. And then there's some standby products, such as uh, some crackers that I really like, and some cheeses that I really like. And um, most recently, I've seen that there's some things that would be great for Christmas gifts, so soaps and socks and um, various products like that. I really like to get um, products for gifts that have some local connection to where I live. And, I'll be sending those across the country. So it's a really nice way to spread that to other people too. Throughout the years, we've had many customers ask questions, and if we don't know it, we get the, we get the producer on the phone, and nine times out of ten, we can have the answer for that customer before they even walk out the door. It's 150 miles, that's what our, our radius is, but produce is more like 30 or 35, yeah. and most everything is significantly less. Maybe yeah, there's a few outliers that are in the uh, somewhere between the 100 and the 150 mile range. Um, but the majority of it is, is definitely, probably 90% is within 100 miles easily. Um, the produce, the furthest produce is probably 30 miles. So it's, when it gets here, it's hours old. working here is, um, I mean, I'm from Edinburgh originally, so um, the fact that everything is local is amazing, but I always tell people that this is the job I work because I love to work here. I'm in nursing school, so this isn't necessarily my field, um, but I continue to work here because I just love everything that Edinburgh Market stands for. Um, 
and you know I love the interaction with the community members. I love Curtis and Marty dearly, so I love getting to spend time with them. Um, but really, there's nothing negative I could ever say. This is, um, you know, this is a job that I've never felt like oh, I don't want to go to work. You know, this is this is a place I'm always excited and happy to be at. So. I like to shop here because it's there are, it's organic items, which is you know I find very valuable for my family. I can get stuff for my dog. I can get stuff for myself and my family. They've got you know a variety of items, and it's just from local people, and it's just great to support the local community. Part of the reason why we visit too is we like to ask questions and uh, um, and physically see. Uh, what they're doing and, and how they're doing it. Because uh, we shop here too. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> and we care what we're eating. Right? Yeah. It's part of the mission is telling their story of, you know, along with, with ours. We wouldn't be here unless it was for them. Everybody who sells through here, I would be happy to call a friend, really, they're all inspirational. Um, being part of the community, too, we have regulars, they shop once, twice, sometimes three times a week, and we've got to know them and their families and their their daily lives. I feel like we're part of the fabric of, you know, the community.